What up, channel? It's Foreplay, and this is just another Team Scrum video commentary. As always, I'm using a Scorpion. <laughs> I'm just joking. Um, I'm using a Scorpion in this uh, just because I actually stopped using it, and I started using the MSMC. But the Scorpion is actually fun to use because it's just so easy. I, I don't know if you guys agree with that. Like, when you use a Scorpion and you're up close to someone, you're not going to lose a gunfight. It's like, I, I guess people call it the warrior gun or the online gun, um, whatever you want to call it. I've been using the MSMC long barrel quick draw lately. And I actually, that's what I used to use all the time. But in this video, I was just using the Scorpion. Um, just because it's fun to switch it up, you know? It's fun to use different guns. But anyway, in this commentary, I kind of wanted to do a topic that was brought to my attention recently on getting better. A lot of people are asking me, hey, Foreplay, how do you get better? Um, what's your thoughts on trying to get better? Like, how do you do it? And to be honest, there's not like a magical way to get better, you know? And... W I've, I've talked about this before we all play bad you know like there's gonna be times where you play bad i play bad whatever in fact i'm in a slump right now to where i i put a lot of pressure on myself to get better you know and um not not to get better but to be like better you know like i i, I put a lot of pressure on myself to be really clutch really good and lately i haven't been feeling like i'm playing like that um i just feel like i'm super inconsistent and i hate it so my tip for getting better is to be honest watch your gameplay use use the theater to your advantage you know a lot of people don't realize that you can watch your gameplay find your mistakes and just learn from that like if your shots off then that, that's a different story that's something you just either got to play more or play less i don't really know where you're at in your gaming career like if you don't play enough your shots not going to be good like you, you can't just expect to get on and be good i guess some people might be able to but i've never been a player that could pick up my sticks and be like, all right, I'm the best player ever. Um, like, I always get on. If, if, if I don't warm up the first, like, 30 minutes I'm on, I suck, you know? And it's always been like that, except for COD 4. COD 4 it wasn't like that because of the game, I think. I just played it so much. I, I was whatever, you know? Like, I just knew everything about the game. And this game, I feel I know a lot about. I feel like I'm, I'm pretty good, you know? Um, I just don't feel that I play enough to be, like, amazing. So lately, I've been watching a lot of my gameplay in theater, and mainly the losses. Like, w whenever we take a loss in a team scrim, I'll go back and watch it just to see the mistakes I made. And a lot of it has to do with map positioning. Uh, I, I saw Parasite do a video on this the other day. To be honest, I didn't watch the whole thing um, because it was stuff that I, I kind of just agreed with, and I was like, that's a good video. Um, and I've actually talked about that before. Everyone can point and shoot. Everyone can put, put their, um, their markers on other people and shoot. And to be honest, I think running a sub in this game is extremely difficult compared to running an AR on most maps. And the, the reason I say that is because when, whenever I pick up an M8, or maybe I'm just running the wrong gun, <laughs> but whenever I, I pick up an M8, I normally just go off with it. And um, going off with it, I mean like legit, like going on like eight, nine, 10 kill streaks, um, picking up score streaks and stuff. And I always say to our ARs, man, this gun is so easy. I don't see how you guys aren't just dominating everybody, which they normally do, do a, like a great job. And that's why I think a lot of ob objective players don't really get a lot of good credit in this game because it can get frustrating rushing to the hill, especially if you have a two AR based team and the other team's running three subs. It can be extremely difficult because you're constantly trying to make plays against three people. Um, and sometimes if you don't wait for your other objective player, which I have a tendency not to, so does Burns, then you're pretty much going up against two, sometimes three people. And yeah, but basically, I guess getting better is one of those things where you need to take it in stride. Find out where you're struggling. A lot of the times for me, it's running to um, open areas of the map that I shouldn't be running to. Or a lot of the times I, um, I sprint too much. I don't L trigger around certain corners. Um, and a lot of that has to do with confidence. I think sometimes my confidence is a little too high because um, I'm always caught in a sprint. And I can acknowledge those mistakes, you know? And that, that's like the biggest thing when you're trying to get better is acknowledge your mistakes, find out your strengths, your weaknesses and everything, and then move on from there. But yeah, 
that's pretty much that's all we're gonna do it for that commentary or this topic i guess uh in this team scrim we went pretty single-handedly i think it was like 250 to 170 i believe um actually it might be 250 to 165 so yeah this is foreplay how to get better watch your gameplay study it find your mistakes until next time peace has been achieved what up for play gang i hope that you guys like that little commentary that was short and sweet um just someone kept asking me the same question on how to get better and how to get out of a slump and we kind of already talked about that but that video was a little different i just want people to take advantage of the theater mode as always video in the top left video in the top right comment favorite like subscribe get at me on twitter if you want and if not have a good week take care